This is Akashwani Itanagar, the news read by Narang Koyang. In a landmark judgment, the Supreme Court today upheld the power of states to subclassify reserved category groups of the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes into different groups based on their backwardness for extending the benefits of reservation. A seven-judge constitution bench of Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachur, gave the judgment by 6-1 majority overruling the 2004 E.V. Chinnaya v. State of Andhra Pradesh judgment of the Apex Court. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today held talks with his Vietnamese counterpart, Pam Min Chin, in New Delhi. After the talks, both leaders virtually inaugurated Army Software Park at Telecommunication University in Nang Trang, Vietnam. In his press statement, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said India-Vietnam's bilateral trade has witnessed a rise of 85%. He said Vietnam is India's important partner in the Ag East policy and Indo-Pacific vision. He said both sides have extensively discussed all areas of mutual cooperation and took several steps to prepare a roadmap for the future. Meanwhile, both the countries have signed a several MOUs in various fields. Furthermore, Prasar Bharti and Voice of Vietnam have also exchanged MOU for cooperation in radio and television. Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs, Tok Khan Sahu, in a written reply in the Lok Sabha today, informed that as on 12th of this month, the work orders were issued in 8,016 projects amounting to 1,64,223 crore rupees, of which 7,218 projects amounting to rupees 1,45,000. 83 crore rupees have been completed as per data obtained from 100 cities. The city-wise details of completed projects on smart classes and digital libraries under smart city mission also includes Arunachal's three projects, that is 28 smart classrooms in five schools at Itanagar, costing 5.06 crore rupees, the retrofitting of Ita Fort State Museum and Library Building worth 8.91 crore rupees, and District Library and Children E-Learning Center worth 1.5 1 1 crore rupees. Chief Minister Pema Khandu today in a social media post has informed that the state government has increased the location allowance for its employees of level 9 and above along with level 8 and below by 25% from today onwards. The level 9 and above employees will now receive 6,625 rupees and level 8 and below will receive 5,125 rupees as tough location allowance. Chief Minister Pema Khandu and Deputy Chief Minister Choname called on Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in New Delhi yesterday. Sharing this in a social media post, Mr. Khandu said that during the meeting, discussion on various upcoming projects in Arunachal Pradesh were taken up. Both also requested the Union Minister to consider setting up a regional office of State Bank of India in Arunachal Pradesh. The Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister sought continued support from the Centre for the Infrastructure Development in the state and shared with her a copy of the memorandum submitted to the Prime Minister. Narendra Modi. The Disaster Management Amendment Bill 2024 was introduced in the Lok Sabha today by Minister of State for Home Nityanand Rai. The bill seeks to amend the Disaster Management Act 2005. The bill is aimed to strengthen the efficient working of the National Disaster Management Authority and the State Disaster Management Authorities. About 16 additional commodities have been included under the price monitoring and the Department of Consumer Affairs from today. The Union Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Pallad Joshi, stated this while launching the price monitoring system, Mobile A version 4.0, today. The IMD has forecasted that a rainfall will occur over the entire country during the second half of the southwest monsoon season. Meanwhile, the Meteorological Center, Itanagar, has forecasted that 10 districts of Arunachal Pradesh are in yellow alert zone. The districts namely East Kameng, West Kameng, Lower Subansari, Upper Subansari, Pake Kesang, Papumpare, West Siang, Siang, Shiyomi and Leparada will receive thunderstorm with lightning, very likely at isolated places. Deputy Commissioner E. Siang, come Chairman District Vigilance Committee Tai Tagu yesterday held a meeting regarding the implementation of the provision of employment as manual scavenger and their rehabilitation act 2023 in a district in Pasighat. In 2024 Paris Olympics shooter Swapnil Kusale won bronze medal in a men's 50 meter rifle three position shooting competition today. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar. 